Hi everybody, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with that right there, 2019 Panini Contenders Draft Picks Football 2 Box Random Pack Break Number 9. You can see the next one is already in the store, Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com, but this is for break number 9. Big thanks to all of these folks here for getting into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the two boxes first. We'll number the packs. And then randomize your names. Randomize the packs and see who gets what. I don't have Sharpies here. Alright. Alright, you're welcome, Panini. Alright, look at this. Kyler Murray, number one, drafted, number one overall. I don't know. How, how do we think Kyler Murray is going to do, folks? I think Kyler Murray, in my opinion, you know, is going to. I think can't just fit in any team. You know what I mean? You got to you got to cater to his specific set of skills, all right? But I think he went to the team that will cater to his specific skills. He needs an. He needs. I don't know what the. What the Cardinals' offensive line is like, but um, but that's important too because he had a great offensive line in Oklahoma. All right, four and a two, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Drew Kerr down to Charles Young. What well, did the Cardinals not have a good offensive line, Jason Bell? Four and a two, six times for the. Um, for the pack numbers. One, two, three, four, five, and six. It's four into two, six times. Six down to seven. Oh, the Cardinals offensive line isn't very good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. Rosen did get hit a lot. Well, they got to shore that up because Kyler Murray is used to great protection in college. Drew, you got six. Jeremiah with four. Michael Hansen with one. Rick with 11. Eight and five. Michael Hansen, last spot mojo with three. Charles, you got nine. Rick with 12. Charles with two. Rick with 10. Charles with seven. We're going to do these alphabetically as usual. Let me print out these labels and we'll go from there. Well, good luck, Kyler. Well, hey, they, they just need to they just need to keep them alive for the first year, and then they can work on uh, they can work on that offensive line over over the course of the next year or so. I'm sure the Cardinals next next year's first round pick will definitely be offensive line if they don't get it in free agency or something like that. Let me print out these labels and we'll go from there. Saturday for twenty seven. 2019 contenders draft NFL two box random pack number eight or number nine. But that's true, yeah. So maybe that he just evens out, Jason Bell. Kyler Murray does have some wheels, right? So maybe maybe the lack of an offensive line. I don't know. I mean, Seahawks fans have been screaming about getting offensive line help for years, but Russell Wilson seems to be okay. All right, so Charles, you're up first. We're going alphabetically here. So you got 9 2 7. 9 2 7. Drew, you're next. There you go. 9 2 and 7. Good luck.
Yeah, Mike Towers asking, how's the O-line for for Rosen in Miami? Maybe we should get a subscription to uh, Pro Football Focus. We can have all that information. All right, good luck. And we've got Tony Pollard from Memphis. Did he end up getting drafted? What you're hoping for is that all these autographs that you get are guys that end up getting drafted. That's what I think, in my opinion. And then see what they end up being. There's Tony Pollard. Yeah, Russell Wilson does have DK Metcalf now. Which, you know, I was hearing that, that his... That Metcalf's route running isn't very crisp. There's Jordan Scarlett, which is why he fell a lot. But, I mean, a big target for Russell Wilson in a more spontaneous kind of offense could could be very helpful. Nice. Pollard was a fourth rounder. Cool. What about Jordan Scarlett? And your last one here, Charles, is going to be Noah Font. I think, I'm pretty sure he got drafted. There he is. Oh, nice number, too. 52 out of 99. Bowl ticket autograph. I was hearing last night on the radio that uh, I think he went to the Patriots. Um, that Doug Baldwin it, it may not play football again. All right, Charles. Thank you, Drew. You're up next. Thanks, Charles. Doug Baldwin is is an aging receiver that's apparently going through a, a bunch of different surgeries and stuff. So Ray saying Baldwin's pretty much done. Damn, so yeah, so I guess DK Metcalf and who else do they have? Tyler Lockett still on there? Well, we'll see how they do. All right, Charles. Thank you, sir. Set this aside here. All right, Drew, you're up next. You only have one pack, pack six. All it takes is one. Pack six is all the way over here. Ooh, Sam Strayer saying he watched Xfinity today at Talladega, and Panini sponsored a car that finished second. Did you, Mike, did you hear about this? What? Sam Strayer is saying that Panini sponsored a car that finished second in Xfinity. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't realize they were sponsoring... Yeah. All right, putting some of that some of that flawless money into that NT basketball money onto car sponsorships. I didn't realize that's kind of cool. Keelan Doss, wide receiver. That's right, Drew Locke did go to Denver. How long before Joe Flacco gets usurped by another young quarterback? There were, there were quotes from Joe Flacco who was like, I don't think quarterback's a big priority. <laughs> John Elway felt differently. So, I don't know if Drew Locke's, is he NFL ready? I have, I have no idea if he's NFL ready, but there it is. Wow, the Panini 8. That's pretty cool. Second, first one was Skybox. It, uh, wow. Time. 
All right, Drew. There you go. Jeremiah, you've got a pack. Pack four. Which is right here. Good luck. There's Tyree Jackson. College ticket autograph. Uh, so Jason's saying Drew Locke not NFL ready, uh, at least immediately. So maybe two, three years. And then he learns behind Flacco, and then Flacco's put out to pasture. There's Jeremiah Schroeder. Wow, Rastros just walked it off. Tony Kemp with a walk-off shot. All right, Michael Hansen, you got a couple packs. One and three, and then Rick, you're next. Michael Hansen, one and three. Good luck. God, Alex Madison. Three out of 23. Nice cracked ice. College ticket autograph. Did he get drafted? I can't remember seven rounds of, of names that were drafted. That's a pinch hit walk off for Tony Kent. And we got TJ Hawkinson. He was definitely drafted. Hawkinson is a Hawkeye? Oh, that's too perfect. He was a first rounder, right? Lions? Maybe a high first rounder. All right, there you go, Michael. Oh, there you go, yeah. So, Ronit Patel confirming he was drafted number eight. There you go, so a top 10 pick, Michael Hansen. Top 10 pick autograph coming your way. I don't think Lions fans were very happy about that, but hey, if he turns out to be, well, he's got to be better than like Eric Ebron <laughs> from the get-go. But he could be. All right. Hey, hope springs eternal after the draft. Rick Barker, you got 11, 8, not 11, 8, 5. 12 and 10. You have the rest. 11, 8, 5, 12, and 10. All right, I didn't screw it up. Good. All right, good luck, Rick. The Raiders took someone interesting that I, that I thought. Um, the, uh, what's going to call it? Hunter Renfro, not the Padres outfielder, but wide receiver Hunter Renfro from Clemson. Could be interesting. There you go. There's Ed Oliver. 89 out of 99. 
So the Raiders with Antonio Brown on one side, Tyrell Williams, Hunter Renfro. I think they have J.J. Nelson. They've got an interesting group of wide receivers. I think they took a tight end, too, to kind of replace Jared Cook, who was great for the Raiders last season. But he's going to get paid, so. Jacoby Myers, college ticket autograph. I think so, too. I think a lot of, there are a lot of, including my eyebrow, was raised when they took Cleland Farrell that high. But I guess that's the guy the Raiders wanted. There's Ryan Feeling. We're just talking about him, too. We got a cracked ice, one out of 23. Legacy, there's Billy Cannon on one side and Leonard Fournette on the other side. But I think as a whole, I think the Raiders did okay. Cleveland Farrell saw him at a press conference with the other Raiders rookies, the, including the Alabama running back. Um, seemed like a, he seemed like a really composed dude. He, seemed, he, he was talking like a veteran. He wasn't like a wide-eyed uh, draftee. You know, he, he was talking like he was, he was a veteran. And he, did, he had done a million press conferences and stuff. And so, I don't know. They were, I know they were wanted a character to be a priority too for the Raiders. So, well, I think it's more, I, I think it's more uh, Mr. Mayock as opposed to Mr. Gruden making most of those picks. There's Darius Geis to 99. He's going to get his career started this year, I hope. That's a sleeper for fantasy folks, Darius Geis, especially in deep leagues. There's Trayvon Williams game day ticket autograph. Nice. Three out of five. Where did Trayvon Williams go? Texas A&M. He's got a nice autograph. Nice. Rick Barker. All aboard the Big Hit Express. <laughs> There you go. Trevion Williams went to the Bengals, says Jason Bell. There you go. All right, and the last one, Rick. Good luck. It's going to be Quadri Allison. There you have it. That's a that's nice, uh, nice few packs for you. Nice handful of packs. Coming your way. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We have more in the store plus Leaf Metal Draft. So we got a couple uh, couple draft products in the store. Did Will Greer get drafted? If so, where? So there you go, Rick. Nice handful of packs. Good stuff. More in the store. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Check it out. We'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.